All right, advent of code, day seven. Okay. Ooh, operators, single equation, test value, operators. Where are the operators coming from? Uh, two kinds of operators. Two of the above equations. Oh, you can insert operators however you want. Um, okay. There are lots of, it's always evaluated left to right, not according to precedence rules. Okay. Um, cool. So in that case, we're going to do, uh, and then I think we just try all possibilities. Um, it seems like it could be long, but like, uh, uh, I want let L not check. Okay, up to 12. Uh, yeah, we can just brute force, I think. Um, if they introduce a third operator, it's gonna suck at the end. Um, okay, or if they make us do precedence, that'll also suck. Um, for op mask in, I'm trying to remember how to do it, like a bit mask here. Um, okay. And then I think, oh yeah, and then this is easy enough. Um, what we're gonna do, uh, result is going to be also this should be minus one. Um, mask out from the bit mask. times L of I. If result equals check, then uh, my pi pi ready here, maybe? Uh, three, that doesn't seem right. Um, Oh, there's a thing, total calibration results. Some of the test values from just the equations that could possibly be true. Um, let's try that. Uh, three still seems like too few for this, but let's check it. Okay, not the right answer. Um, so now what am I doing wrong here? Uh, let's try sample. Zero, okay, well, there's for starters something wrong. Um, Left to right. Hmm. I could do something really hacky. Uh, two positions for operators, two cause the right side to match. Oh man, having a bug here is brutal. Oh, what could I be doing wrong? Oh shoot, shoot, that's a bad bug. Uh, Okay, ah, oh, crap, that's the right answer. Oh, terrible bug. Will I still make it in time? Four seconds left. Okay, well, I at least wasn't locked out. Feels like it's been about four seconds. 242, ooh, that's bad. Um, I mean, obviously, not objectively, but uh, concatenation operator concaten combines the digits from the left and right inputs, inputs into a single number. Um, uh, Adding up all six test values. Okay. Um, well, the bit mask is not going to work anymore. Um, maybe now we want like uh, maybe like uh, fine. Uh, and now we do uh, ops of i minus one.
This might be like really slow. Uh, I mean, this will be really slow. <laughs> um, string of shoot or not, uh, results. String of L I. Okay, and then I think the rest of this is fine. That'll take a while, but we can uh, change this to this, get rid of that, that, and that, and then we can pipi it maybe. Oh, that's rough. Um, I forget if this will work in PyPy. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, there's a number. A rank 239. Okay. Whew. Uh, yeah, PyPy was important there. Um, this is really slow. I really need to get PyPy set up better. I guess I did have it kind of ready, so that was not too bad. Um, man, I felt like I wasn't that slow on that, and I still got like hundreds on both. Um, what do the times look like, I guess? Hmm. Okay. Wow. There. That is a lot of uh, very fast times. Um, let's see. What's the highest of someone that I know is legit? Um. I guess I don't actually recognize any names on here. Uh, I'm sure some of these times. Oh uh, yeah. Like Talkman's definitely legit. Uh. So I guess 139. How fast did I do it? I guess I was debugging. Um. 339. Wow, two minutes slower. Um, yeah, I don't know how long I spent debugging it, but I don't think I spent two minutes debugging it. Um, so maybe I was just like slow with that. Um, yeah, maybe maybe doing the tools product thing earlier would have been faster. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I guess I got, I was pretty slow writing the bit mask thing. Um, so I guess I should probably explain this. Um, if anyone's not familiar, um, one trick if you want to brute force all like possibilities um, for like every step we need to have a plus or a multiplication. Um, and so that's like two choices for each possibility. So two to the um, number like length of the sequence minus one is the number of possibilities you want to check. Uh, well, you can represent each possibility by just like a binary number. Um, so like plus times times plus might be like one, zero, zero, one. Um, so a thing you can do is you can just like iterate through the integers um, between binary representation zero and binary representation all ones. Um, and then for each integer, you can then like extract out the operations you want to do from that. Um, this is uh, somewhat more efficient than something like iterTools.products with, certainly iter faster, more efficient than iterTools.products with strings. Um, plausibly, it's not like that much more efficient, but I'm not really sure. But anyways, that was how I decided to write this. Um, and uh, yeah, so this here is like extracting the ith bit or the i minus one bit from the op mask. Um, that tells you the operator. Uh, and it doesn't really matter whether zeros or ones are, in my case, I guess I did ones are multiplications, so technically it would have been opposite. Um, but it didn't really matter which one I did as long as I iterated through all, all the integers because that tries all possibilities. Um, once you need more than, uh, once you need more than two operators, you kind of have to use something like iterTools product. Like you can still use this trick, but now you're doing it in base three. Um, so you'd have to do like four alt mask in range uh, three to the length of, L minus one, and then, uh, yeah, I think that's right. Um, and then to extract out the ith op, um, you'd have to do something like, uh, so like left shifting is now equivalent to like dividing by pow of three to the i, and then you want to take like a modulus like mod three. Um, so th this is the same trick, but it's like a lot, I don't know, th this is like, it probably doesn't convey the same efficiency benefits that you get when you're like doing bit manipulation. Um, so um, I guess this wouldn't have been too bad to just write it this way. Maybe I should have just done that. Not really sure. Um, but yeah, I probably lost a bit of time by having to like rewrite it as iterTools.product um, rather than uh, having written something for part one where I could just easily generalize it. Um, 
Did this finish yet? This did eventually finish. Um, so I guess I'll leave as is. Um, yeah, well, that is, um, that's the eight. Oh, I guess I should mention the bug I wrote. Um, the bug I wrote was, I think I was just doing like my four eye in range. I'm trying to remember what exactly the bug was, but I think it was like this. Um, and if you do this, L of I is referring to like the wrong number. So I, I set results starting at the first number. Um, and then like the operators get inserted after. Um, and I was mistakenly like using this set of numbers and the results. So I would do like 240 times 240 rather than 240 times 116, for instance. Um, yeah. But like overall, these are not bad finishes. I, I said that was a bad finish on part one, uh, but really it was just like slower than I expected or like a lower finish than I expected it to be given that uh, I felt like I was going kind of fast, but I guess also I had the bug and the bug is just killer. Man. Um, yeah, I mean, nice to have like reasonably good ranks on both parts. Um, like as long as we can avoid more of these days where, where I'm like hard choking, then I'll be like pretty happy with that. Um, cool. Well, yeah, that is all I have for day, uh, what was today? Day seven, day seven of Avenger of Code. See you tomorrow.